What is going on my diamond fellows, it's Diamond Computer here and welcome to my 6 on my deck profile for the February 2018 ban list. Now this deck profile is going to be a bit medieval because again, self and got my laptop sorted. But I'm going to try and just still put those deck profiles out for you guys no matter how bad they may seem. So you're going to see the uncut versions of the deck profiles. And this ban list as well for, for February is just absolutely insane. We've had cards like Monster Reborn come off. We've had cards Some Judgment coming off. We've had Blocky for Towers coming off. Sacrifice going to three. Moral Attack going to three. Thunder King Ryo going to three. BLS as well, which is one of the big ones that have come off the ban list. It's absolutely insane. And again, I'm just going to. I just can't wait to see how diverse this meta becomes because. I believe that we're going to see a lot of cleaves, we're going to see a lot of anti-meta decks, we're going to see artifacts coming back as well, and we're going to see the Cloudify deck as well coming into fruition because of some judgment coming to one. But anyways, we're not here to talk about those, those will be in later videos. We're here to talk about Six Samurai, and again, I hope this deck can actually compete in this meta, because I believe that it does have that chance, it just needs someone to be able to format the deck and be able to help it compete with this meta and I believe that I am that person not to brag. But anyways, we're going to start off straight with our monsters, start off with the obvious combo extenders. We're going to have the one Grandmaster and the three Kazans, the again generics of the deck, the OGs, the big guys of the deck, your main OTK cards. You need to run these cards in a six my deck because it's just, they, they put the heart and soul in the deck and they bring the deck together so well it's just I don't know why anyone would think not running these cards and then for the new additions I run the one Shinai and then the one Mizuho the reason why I run these cards is because Mizuho has really good synergy with Asceticism and Hatsume as a 1600 attack and also can tribute off Shinai to then pop a card on the field and then Shinai's effect will then trigger to then add a Kazan or a six hundred almost a different name from your graveyard to your hand. So acts sort of like an Azold upon Tribute, but sort of not. But also they're two level three, so again they're good uh, fodder for the MX Saber Invoker. And also they special on each other, so if you control one you could special on the other, and if you control this one you can special on this. So again, really good cards. Um, next you want to run the one Kazaro, and the reason why you run one Kazaro is because you don't want to see this card at all. You never want to see it because it's so bad. It's so bad when you draw into it. Because its effect goes off when you special summon it. It doesn't go off when you know someone does it. So one Kazaru in the deck. Um, and then also you want to run two Fuma. Which is your best tuner in the deck. Because it does something upon destruction. And then next you want to run double Hatsume. And I've been on and off. by bumping this up to three. But... I stuck with two because I kind of want to see it and I kind of don't due to asceticism and the Mizuho um, introduction. Um, and it's just, I don't, I'm, st I'm still, I don't know about the card, but A, it's a good card either way and also the artwork is amazing. So uh, just banishing two six hour monsters from your field or your graveyard and then special winning one from your graveyard is just a really good play and helps you special summon you know, your sheet end from the grave to be able to recycle this effect constantly. And then for your combo starters, you want to run triple as just Samurai Kageki again, a must have in the deck. Um, the cards, other cards apart from the Kageki and the Grandmaster and the Kazans are all up to personal preference, but these are the main starter cards, the structure cards that you must run in the Six Samurai deck. Um, and then you want to play the one Elder, which is essentially the Cyber Dragon 4, there's six Samurais. And then you also want to run the one Anishi. This is not a combo starter, but it's a good card to uh, summon and then pass and then join your opponent's battle phase. If you have like summoning, in, if you have two six summon monsters in the graveyard and you have one on the field with it, you can just annoy your opponent by binding their monsters back to the hand, as long as they don't have a floodgate to stop it. So um, You also want to run uh, two Kagamusha. Again, just a generic level 2 tuner, but again, good synergy with the Elder of the Six Summer and then vice versa. And the last monster you want to run is the one Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. And the reason why I don't run multiple copies of Ghost Ogre is because I don't run hand traps in this deck. The This is the only hand trap that I will run, and it's because it's a level 3 tuner 
um, which is just absolutely amazing and set and makes the stacks consistency just skyrocket. And it's just, it's, I didn't think that this would be as impactful as it is in the six summer deck, but it really is. You guys can test it out for yourself, and then you can run other hand traps if you want. Throw out the deck profile, you can swap cards out and put, put in hand traps just to kind of help six samurai. But this deck is a very explosive deck, so what you want to do is you want to be able to make your board as unbeatable as possible. And this this card absolutely just seals those boards together, and it's, it's just it's awesome. Um, so you don't have to run this card, but it's again, it's good for the MX Saber, it's good for the Synchros, and it's good as a hand trap. Uh, so, again, amazing all round card. And that is actually it for all the monsters in the deck. Let's go on to our spells. And to start off with our spells, you want to start off with your draw engines, the triple six summer united. The double pot of desires, which is an absolutely need in the deck. You don't need to run pot of desires, but... I think it's it's a must have in the deck if you want to make this deck competitive, and of course the one upside goblin, because if you pot desires and you draw to an upside, you essentially gain yourself a plus two because you're plusing one off pot and then plusing another off upstart goblin. Or even if you go into a six armor united, you, hey, you can even go up to plus four because six armor united is just an absolutely stupid card, especially with the amount of summonings you do in this deck. Next for your special summoning. You want to run the Triple Shien's Dojo, which is similar to United, immediately goes off and allows you special summon. You want to run the Double Asceticism of the Six. I've gone back and forth again about running three, but I've kept it at two because it's more consistent that way. One Soul Charge, and of course the one up, uh, not one upstart, the one Monster Reborn of the deck. Um, I can't find a Monster Reborn at the minute, but as soon as I will, this will become the Monster Reborn. And then for your search engine, you want to run triple shared smoke signal because you're running a lot of level threes in this deck. And if you have the Tsunami Mizuho in your hand, it's absolutely amazing if you can summon one, and then go for your couple plays and activate this, uh, get the other, and then go off from your plays from there with their effects coinciding with each other. Next, uh, you want to run the last gateway. Um, it's just I we we need to have this card at three. I've tried. I've actually formatted this deck to be able to run it at three, and it it's it's not as impactful as it used to be. So please, can I, if you're watching this, bring Gateway back up at three, and everyone post in the comments down below to bring free free Gateway. Um, I know you guys want Stratos, but we also need Gateway in in this in in this format. Uh, anyway, onto the traps, and again, uh, on and off about the traps. Because this deck can run really well with just spells because it's just so fast. But then you also kind of want to run the traps because you also kind of want to go first with this deck. So, for your traps you want to run double, uh, double edged sword technique. And then double Musa Candy Magatama as your essentially four traps of the deck. And you can side in cards and you can take out cards from the traps to make this a going first and second deck. Um, putting in more spell cards or more hand traps. But again, these cards here really do solidify the deck together because we just kind of make a time on your first turn. As, if you, as long as you have this set and you have a Sheen on the board, you have essentially two negates to your opponent's activated effects. And then double edged sword technique just helps you with your link plays, really. Um, but that is actually it for the main deck, guys. Let's go straight on to the side deck. And again, guys, side decks always have the personal preference. You don't need to run what's in the side deck, but this is what I've got so far. Three Gamma, because um, it's been reprinted in the special edition, so it's why I've proxied Epsilon. Epsilon's good as well, but now that Pendulum Magician got hit, it isn't as viable um, for the face up traps. But three Gamma, um, and then with the one Driver for your other hand traps, and your artifact Lancia against the Trickstar matchup because this deck does lose against Trickstars. Um, as soon as they draw and lock you, you might as well just end your turn or just scoop because you can't do anything on there. And then the one contacts you because this is actually a really good hand trap to come out of Extreme Force because against the Pendulum player, if they Pendulum someone, they want to go into the Electromite, you can special when they contact C and then that just stops their play in their tracks. Um, so again, absolutely amazing card. And then again, for the Pendulum players, you want to run the Double Pendulum Storm. It's just pretty self-explanatory why you, why you want to run this card, because it's a really good tacky card. You want to run the two Cosmic Cyclone for 
essentially any deck, but mainly Pendulum. Um, and then again, Dimensional Barrier for Pendulum again. So you got a lot of cards to combat Pendulums because I do believe that Pendulums, even with their consistency lacking, I do think this will be they will be the dominant deck of this format. But lastly, for another tech card, I run two by order of the Emperor. This is very good against the Trickstar matchup, the Monarch matchup, and also the Spiral matchup. Stopping that quick fix search and stopping the Kandina search for your um, for their Trickstar reincarnation, and also again against Monarchs is just absolutely amazing because I do believe Monarchs have a bit of viability in this format. And also stopping the Soul Exit Over Raptor in the Dino format as well. Because, um, again, those things are, those cards are a thing. <laughs> but, um, anyway, this card is absolutely insane. It's not once per turn either, so you can just constantly negate. And if you want to side in stuff like Draw with this card, you can activate this card, negate a uh, normal summon effect, draw them, and then they can't draw for the rest of the turn. They may as well pass their turn if they're a Pendulum player or a Spiral player. So, again, absolutely insane card. I did have the side of it originally for the Pendulum matchup to stop the Joker, but now that's not really a problem. We don't really need to worry about siding this in too much, but against the Spiral matchup, it'll be good to side this in, and the Dinos and 60-card decks as well. Again, really good card. And that is actually it for the side deck. As let's go straight on to the extra deck. And again, extra was up to personal preference. Everything's up to personal preference. I can't stress that enough, but... Anyway, we want to run the one is old, and the reason why I don't run two is old is because you go into Miserania a lot more often than you do is old, because Miserania is actually a bigger monster than this card. But this is a good combo extender as well, uh, along with your Ningrisu. Um, this, again, allows you to add your follow-up plays. This just allows you to carry on with your combo plays uh, by sending one card from your field to the graveyard and sending one card from your opponent's field, so... It's untargeting, and if you send the Kazan, as long as you have the gateway, you can add the Kazan straight back. So again, this does not hurt at all. But you also want to run the double Miserania because you go into this card so much with this deck. And then you want to run the wrong proxy for your last link monster because uh, you want to free up space. Because you, you go into your extra deck a lot with this deck. And it's really funny how, you, how often you go into the deck. And for your synchros, you want to play the one Colossus Fire, which is, again, it's an absolutely stupid card because one, it increases attack, and two, it can special on itself back from the graveyard. So if it's just by battle, it's special on it back constantly because it's not once per turn. And this stupid card right here. Um, one Trish, because you can uh, end your opponent's turn. By, put, by banishing one card from the hand field of graveyard, so you can banish the Trickstar Light Stage, one card from the hand, and then the Trickstar Reincarnation from the grave, um, or you can do the Pendulum matchup to by banishing the, um, what you call it, by banishing the Electromite, banishing the Pendulum Scale, and then banishing card from the hand to stop them from going on with their place. Next, you want to run the double. Legendary Six Summer Sheen, absolutely heart and soul of the deck. This is why this deck is a thing because you can go into this so often and then you can just negate, negate, negate. It's just it's really stupid. And also, its second effect by protecting itself is not once per turn. So, if you have two of these on the board, you can use one to protect the other, use one to protect the other, and then if you have two secrets in the grave, you can banish them both and then keep these on the field. As it's it's an absolutely insane card. And uh, for your XYZs, you want to run the one MX Saber Invoker, one Pagusku to sit on, one Gagada Summer for the OTK, and then one Shadow of the Six Summer Xi'an. Um, again, absolutely amazing card. You can get up to, you can get your Kageki up to 3,700 attack by using this card's effect, so absolutely amazing card. And then lastly, you want to run the one Secret Six Summer Rehan. I've been questioning whether I want to cut this card and then just put in another Synchro or something, but I've kept it in so far because it's a good card because I find that I'm actually opening with this card a lot more often with the new additions to the deck and it's a good card as well by banishing one from your hand by seeing by interrupting a combo play from your opponent so if your opponent's got into the electromite you can activate this effect to banish a six armor monster from your field or your hand and then banish that electromite so then you can stop their play from there um after <laughs> it's actually really cool so and then lastly one of course you need your one token um, again, don't know why it's Kaiba, but hey, 
Kaiba is the master of all decks. Anyway, that is it for the deck profile, guys. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Let's try and hit 15 likes on this Six Samurai deck profile. My last deck profile actually got a lot of support. So, thank you guys so much. Also, thank you guys to all the subscribers and the amount of people who have actually subscribed to my channel. You all, like, you all cement this channel together and actually motivate me to make more deck profiles because it just shows that you like my tech profiles, even of how mediocre this channel is. It's just it it warms my heart. Thank you guys so much, and I'll be bringing out an uh, and not an update, an FA deck profile for you guys as well because I believe that FAs have a chance as well. Um, they are similar to Cleese in the way that all their effects happen if they're um, if you're or they're unaffected by card effects if their level is lower. Um, or if their level is higher than any of your opponent's monsters, so similar to Klee and then similar to Crystons in a way, but you'll see you'll see the deck profile and you'll see what I mean. And enough of me rambling on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!